time did you actually go to the Hacienda, Peter? Twice. <laughs> did you pay? Twice. I can't remember, but I think someone just nodded and let him let me in. And did you but I got mugged so. there. I mean, I got, I went. <laughs> you I, got mugged. I got fucking mugged for millions. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? No, I went. I I, I heard in the it, as it got to the sort of I don't know, like eighties, nine late eighties, nineties. Give him a drink. With all that rave stuff going on. You sound like you an old. You, you sound like me, Dad. Thought you go and check out the young kid. No, I, I t Tony told me I had to. He said you've got to see what's going on. Oh, oh, I mean, it was a fantastic time. I mean, that that was... period of '88 onwards, I, when I felt the building I really came into its own. Yeah. I had other, I had other problems with the grown-up world at that time, but I kept on hearing that it was. a Phenomenon. What did the grown up world try and drag you into it for a moment? It did. <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. hell, you resisted that well. Yeah, and um, <laughs> so I did go. I went, I don't know, maybe 90, something like that, 1991, sometime. Right, and, so, um, and what do you think? I was, it was a thing. I mean, I, I obviously I was completely sort of re removed from it because if you weren't, you know, sort of, if you hadn't taken some ecstasy or something, it probably didn't really make sense but no I don't I don't, I don't I dispute that. I, well I felt old maybe yeah. I just felt old I would be like 35 36 and I kind of felt a bit old and, and I had a I had a scary moment on the stairway behind the DJ club I mean behind the DJ box so there's a bit coming down from the yeah. from the balcony yeah, yeah. what and, happened um I was on my own coming I think I was maybe coming down the stairs and there were two people who seemed quite intent on me not getting to the bottom of the stairs and it was suddenly a really um, secluded completely out of sight from anyone and I thought oh, shit it's not very good um, and I felt quite scared for a moment then someone appeared at the top of the stairs and shook his head at the two fellas were mm. you at the two fellas yeah and they stood aside and I went there. Oh, um, it was a virtual moment. Yeah, that's, it. that's <laughs> it was, exactly. It was a near moment. Yes, exactly how, how I felt. I, I don't know if any. I don't know. I don't know if anything was going to happen. It was just one of those moments that you have when you know that you've turned a corner, gone somewhere <laughs> where they might say, "Can we have your autograph?" <laughs> <laughs> it might have been. Um, I had the moments like that. Or, God, or you know, a, moment like, a moment like that to me would have been a nice night in the club. <laughs> Being chased around by a 17-year-old Salford, uh, Salford I, lunatics I, with knives makes that seem I, positively I, I, welcoming. I, Miranda, yeah. I read the other day that yeah. Jimmy Savile... Yes, I read this. ...was the first person to come up with the two-turntable concept of DJing. This is supposedly what he said, isn't really? it? Really? Well, is it? I mean, I don't know about that. I think that these things happen... I thought I was quite impressed by that. And I reckon that if I wore my Adidas, Adidas tracksuit for this, I could gradually morph into the new Jimmy Savile. 